Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new point of view. So our digital show and digital edition that anticipates next a new point of view Lina Pelle Fair that will, will be happen next September. So today, Friday 24 July, we are so pleased to introduce you a brand spotlight, Rompa Leather from Netherlands. So, and today we have here Narayan Amel. Welcome, Narayan. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's going to be great. Welcome to be here and welcome to be in our community today and talking about the future town is now. Yes. So, I think will be an exciting moment today and I give you some seconds to share your screen because the future of town now is something that you want to show today starting since the really beginning, correct? Right, exactly. The video is about the tour through our production chain and actually it's going to explain itself. Um, one of the things we want to promote is definitely the future tan which is a new and more sustainable way of tanning. So I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to start the video and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Great. Let's enjoy that. Hi everybody. My name is Ryan from the company Rompa Leather. And today I will be taking you guys on a tour through our production process. Rompa Leather is part of the Sopreco Group, one of the main suppliers of meat and derived products in Europe. Our group of companies consists, amongst others, of cattle farms, feeding mills, slaughterhouses and finishing companies. This structure enables us to guarantee optimum quality control and traceability throughout the chain. Animal welfare, transparency and corporate responsibilities are amongst our top priorities. Today, we have invited a few of our colleagues to give you some in-depth information on the different subjects. As the Soparco Group manages its own farms, veterinary services, transportation and feed production, we can monitor our animals closely, provide the best care and nutrition, and of course, keep them healthy and happy at all times. Aided by our specialized farmers, we keep a close eye on each individual animal, always putting their well-being first. After all, taking good care of them is an important condition to produce quality letters. I'm constantly looking for ways to improve my veal farm. For instance, I generate my own green energy at the farm and have earned a biosafety award from the government. However, the most brilliant reward is seeing my calves looking and feeling great. Wow, can I say beautiful? Beautiful. Thank you very much. And also beautiful to see you in the video and here in the real. So I really have some questions for you. Okay. Some questions because you, I discovered something that maybe I didn't know, I just heard about. So you have a veterinary, so you have right. a nutritionist. So is that something related to quality, the quality of the leather? Definitely. We noticed that if you give your animals, if, actually if your animals are healthy and they get the right types of food, you can actually improve the quality of the hides. So you can actually, the, the, more, the healthier the animal, the better the leather. Yeah, so this means that when I, uh, as a designer, when I want to evaluate the quality of the leather, I need to evaluate the quality of the raw material. So, and if the raw material starting from the animal has the highest standard, I don't know, in uh, food, in environment, so for sure my final product will be beautiful. What is very important, what I notice is very important actually in the leather industry and in the leather goods industry is consistency. So people are really looking to buy what they see. Even if it is leather, a natural product, they would like it to be as consistent as possible. So if you have the right type of food, the right type of nutrition, and you know exactly what you put in 
the product, you can actually get a much more consistent end result. And in the end, I think that's what the designer is looking for. He has his A4 swatch or his hide, and he would like all the letters to be exactly the same. And it definitely helps if you start completely at the start of the process and you have complete traceability of it. Yeah, and when you talk about traceability, which now it's more and more important because brands are looking to understand better what's going on starting since the beginning. They want to tell the story making to their final consumer because the authenticity is the most important element. So are you also able to provide this information to the designers that they want to know, they want to understand it? Well, you know, they are more than welcome to come and visit us. And we are glad, we would be glad to show them our production sites. And of course, this is, this is just a video. This is just a little sneak peek into, into the world of, of Rompa Letter and, and, and Soproco. So if, if they really want to get more details, more information, I, I would love to tell them and, and get in contact with them to really go into depth. Perfect, it's perfect to know. So, and what about now going inside of uh, where do you work? You turn the ladder. So I'm curious to see what's going on, what your colleagues are doing, maybe in the, in the step, in the way that they work. So do right. you have anything to show us? I have a second video. So yeah. uh, actually, I think it's a good time to, to show the, the video. I'll get it up on the screen. Strong. I'm really sorry. Actually, welcome to Rompa Leather in Holland. The area where we are situated has a rich history when it comes to the leather industry. Amongst others, some of the biggest innovation centers are located less than 30 minutes from here, enabling us to work with the most innovative and sustainable products. Some of my colleagues have been working here for over 30 years. This means they have a lot of experience and our production is very consistent. It is great to cooperate with such skilled and passionate specialists. As Rompa is constantly working for the fast world of fashion, we are used to quickly translate our customers' ideas into leather. We even have our own test lab to ensure the quality from sampling to production. Wow, again, you surprised me. So I like what Delphine is doing because she was coloring and then she was choosing the best color. How, the, how your colleagues are working and how can you prepare them to keep consistency in their knowledge? Actually, so to start off, this, this was indeed Delphine. She's one of our leather technicians. And uh, I, I'm so happy that she wanted to contribute to the video and, uh, and show a little bit behind the scenes what she does. What is so, what we do actually is we try to work together with our customers. So of course we, we have the magazines, we read, we read on the topics of trends, we try to give them new ideas and, and show them what the possibilities of the industry. But what is more important is that we work together with our, with our customers. So we try to show them an idea or, or a type of letter and they come back with some ideas of their own. And we try to make that, actually you saw her on the frame at the end spraying uh, a hide. That is, exact, that is where the letter is produced, the first hide, the, the, the first prototype, actually. So this, this is her part in the, in the story. So, and now I come up with the idea, so because I see that you have some letter on your back, so I like it to understand when a designer asks you to customize something, do you have something existing to show them? And then you explain to them in, how they can customize, how they can work and finish. So you prepare a little bit in a technical way. I think. Sure, I'll, I will. Actually, I have some letters here. Yeah, I'm, let's show me. I'm some. gonna try and show them. Of course, it is a setting you deep on a webcam. So to start off, of course, we have beautiful new books. 
where you can really see that it's nice and soft. Mm -hmm. A new book is, uh, is always has a nice nap. And I don't think, I think everybody in the leather industry appreciates a nice soft new book. We have a lot of experience with the classical iconic types of leather. Like, this is a beautiful Napa. Mm -hmm. Soft, so you said, very small grain. Yeah, in this case, you said it's an iconic. So this means it's one of the best of your article. Right, exactly. Definitely in the leather, in the leather goods industry, we have the printed letters, the Napas, and the new books, which are, which are basically a, a big part of the collection. The, the Safiano. Oh, this is a Safiano. So can you just stop a little bit so we can see a little bit? Oh, okay, so we can see it. Now you can see it. Yes, correct. So if if a designer would come to us or to me, we and they would say, look, we, we really like the article, but maybe you can add a little bit more two-tone on the tips, or maybe you can make it a little bit darker, or maybe it could be a little soft, be a bit softer, or a little bit thicker, or a little mm -hmm. bit shinier. Those are all things that we can talk about and discuss together. Yeah, can I, can I also ask you, if you stop to share the screen, so I yes. can see again uh, some of your article. It's interesting, we are doing this kind of real life. So now you can see you much bigger. Ah, this will like definitely see, help. Yes, this help. Because I want to see again. Okay, this one. This is brightly finished. This is a bright finish with a small... Real leather goods grain. Mm -hmm. This this is the association that a lot of people definitely who buy leather goods associate with real leather. Okay, the real grain. Right, exactly. Do you also have different thickness? Yes, we can we can work any thickness from zero point nine millimeter up to two point six. And what about now with delivery? Because now we assume that we are in a time that uh, many brands, many designers would like to have small quantities because, you know, the timing now is, is quite hard to predict what we will sell in the future. How can you react in this way? Honestly, for us, we, we look for partners that are able to work with our minimum quantities. And of course, as you saw, we, as we have the whole chain. Uh, for us, it's really important to be able to at least fill the drums with one color. So there are definitely restrictions. It is not that we are not a, a stockist. We are really a production partner. So of course, we will always think with our customers and if they have a, a big line because they sell a lot of black and brown, uh, but they want to make a pink or a yellow or a green, then uh, of course we will do it. That's not a problem. Of course, but I see that you also have this kind of what we say, great classic, so leather that can be used in many different collections. They can also be uh, designed or interpreted in many different, so you said Nabuk, and then mm -hmm. Sopiano, Napa. Right. Which one, you, I see something which is like more crafted in, in back, Back so, so there are some people that really like the vintage articles, right? They, they are, or, or the rugged look, or the cowboy look. So mm -hmm. we, we also have the machinery here to make more. Uh, thicker, one. thicker letters wow. with a nice pull up effect. I uh, will try to hold it a little bit for you. And yeah, you can really yeah. see. We can see the pull up. We can see the light. It's coming out. Right. So the oily. That's great. Yeah. But it also shows that we we, we know how to make articles for shoes. Uh, actually, really, really far back in the past, Rompa was specialized in shoes. So we have this experience in the company. 
to also have all types of, of shoe articles. Of shoe articles. So now you can also explore leather goods, bags. So are you also in the apparel in some items? Maybe or maybe not. What would you mean with with apparel? Like you... jacket over jacket, like leather jacket, like a pull up jackets, coats. Sometimes you have this kind of heavy thickness for some items. Honestly, in my in our current portfolio, we don't have any client making apparel, but I'm sure if there's a client who wants to use bovine hides to make clothing and they, they have an idea in mind, okay. we, we could definitely so find a solution. Experience. Yes, exactly. Of course, but in the future time now, I want to, I want to ask you something more because you have another interesting thing to explain to Han. Because the future turn is also uh, one of your products that you define it. You have the, the line to define the uh, future turn. Do you have anything right. to tell us about this? So, of course, I will, I will show you the third video and then I would like to go more in depth on the subject of the future turn. Yes, here we are. Compaletter strongly believes in improving transparency and sustainability in the leather industry. Our factory invested in state-of-the-art drying systems to lower our carbon footprint. And we even have our own windmills to produce our own energy. We have created an improved method of producing leather called Future 10. Future 10 uses significantly less water and is chrome free, metal free and aldehyde free. Making it one of the most sustainable alternatives to traditional tanning in the world. As you can imagine, the Future 10 in combination with our vertically integrated chain is truly revolutionary. So I think here you are really explaining one of the topics uh, that we are looking in transparency. So the right. vertical chain, and then you are presenting chrome-free, metal-free. Can you teach me a little bit more about these elements? So really, for, for us, the Future 10 was, was a logical step. We are a Dutch tannery based in Holland, which has to differentiate themselves from the markets and we really wanted to show that we, we we really want to push sustainability so we want to be clean we want to to have a low carbon footprint we want to be traceable we want to give our, our clients the confidence that if they choose us as a partner that they really don't have to worry about these things because their supplier is already taking care of it for them so what i actually did is i made a one sheet to go into to go a little further in the concept of the future 10 because the future 10 is more than just a piece of leather is actually what the Rompa letter stands for. So I will read what's on the screen. Future 10 is letter produced in Europe on European heights. Second, yes, tell me. I think you need to switch off the video oh. and then enter in your. Okay. In, we don't see your PowerPoint. Perfect. Let me try again. Yeah, because it's interesting to see now the, the main point that you recap for us. Perfect, we can see now. Great. So Future 10 is letter produced in Europe on European heights in our state-of-the-art production facilities, always focusing on transparency and sustainability and constantly improving our products with the latest technologies. As we stated, we are, you know, in the middle of, of, of the create, creation centers and we have access to all the chemical companies which are more than happy to come and talk to our technicians and try and find the best of all worlds. So when you're a Future 10, you can actually go and say, look, we want to be, we want to be chrome free, metal free, all deed free. So there is a line in the Future 10 where we can meet all those requirements. We could go even further and say that the leather is biodegradable because it's as clean that you can give it back to, to the earth without any toxins. But if you prefer, if, if, you, if you believe in the story and you understand really that, that we are 
making a, a product based on all these uh, all, all our goals so let's say we are we have the european hide state of the art production but you want a waterproof ladder then you will still have a product which is made in the most sustainable way po possible so i think this is important to keep in mind it's important to keep in mind and it's important also to uh, have the passion and the curiosity to know it and to understand because it's really important to, to see that Rompa Leather has the best classic product, but the best durable and long lasting product. And they are made as a state of the art, as you said during your video. So, and this is really one of the concepts that in the industry trends we have. Consumer want to buy something which is a state of the art, something which is long lasting, and something that has a real story behind. Right. So very important for us. And, and you know, it, it, it's a nice that it's a trend, but really, I think the world needs it. And together with me, all my colleagues do. Um, we have, to, we, we have to, to, to be positive and we have to focus on sustainability all together. And, and really, I think the leather industry could use a little push in the right direction. And we would like to push forward. So, and I, and I can also uh, feel the passion that sustainability, it's not a trend for you, but it's a state in your mind, it's a state of the way you work, so that you already started since long time, and this will, will be continuous. Has your, let me say, your action, or your commitment to the sustainability or to responsibility. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I like it to, to listen this and to see how you prepare, how you involved all of your, uh, let me say, your colleague, also preparing these types of uh, uh, story, because it seems to be something that you live in real time every day. Right. I Honestly, Orietta, I'm so happy that really the message came, came true and, and you made such a good recap of the complete, of the story that we are telling that, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's really, it's great. You explain everybody way. understands it just as well as you do. Yes, I think you explain in a very good way. So if you don't want to, do you want to add something more? Otherwise, I think we gave our message. So, uh, so honestly, for me, I would just like to tell all the, the people that are watching if they are interested to, to, to get in contact with us. Letter, you have to, you know, you have to, you have to touch it, you have to feel it, you have to smell it. And I would like to invite you to come and talk and discuss. And we will also be at Lina Pell, so that could be an easy way. But if you prefer to come and visit us or just send me an email, you can find my information on the screen right now. This is really interesting and this is make our conclusion that the physical aspect is really what we are looking for because in the letter, the virtuality, it's perfect to explain and to see which are the new things going on, but we need to feel, to smell and to touch. So me as well, let me uh, invite all of the participants to be part of the a new point of view in uh, upcoming September 22-23. For sure, uh, Narayan will be there, Ron Paletter and the colleagues, so you can also see the collection. And also, thanks so much, Narayan, because it was so nice and so interesting to talk with you. Thank you very much. Our whole collection will be based on the future then. So. For sure, but future is now, as you right. said. Right, exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Linia Pelle. Thank you, all the participants. Ciao.